So I'm pretty sure I'm probably taking this item back. Not probably, I'm gonna send it back. Hey, it's Indy with Bags and Lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really quick because, yeah. So I wanted to record this video for two reasons. And as you can see from the title, it is about a farm reel top that I just got in the mail the other day. So first off, I wanted to ask you all, if you have had experience with Farm Rio, please leave your comments down below because I am just wondering what your overall thoughts and opinions are over the items. If you've seen them in person, that's where I want to hear from you because pictures are different than seeing an item in person. So I really want to hear from the people who have Farm, farm Rio pieces in their collection, have seen it in person, even if they didn't buy it. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what your impressions are were from it. And second reason I wanted to record this video is because, I don't know, I hope, hopefully this is a helpful message to someone else that just because, you know, you had some expectations for something doesn't mean you have to keep it. So I'm pretty sure I'm probably taking this item back. Not probably, I'm going to send it back. But I wanted to go over a few things that I had issues with when I received it. So just quick backstory here, if you have not heard of Farm Rio, Farm Rio makes these beautiful, vibrant, colored pieces. A lot of times they'll make these long dresses. Also, they seem to make like little mini skirt sets as well as top and short sets. So there was this cute top, this macaw top that I wanted. I saw it on their website initially and have been stalking several websites for this piece. Its regular price was about $170, so it was not inexpensive at all. So I want I waited till it went on sale. So when I saw that it did go on sale, the size that I wanted from Farm Rio directly did sell out. And then there was so then I checked a couple of other websites and those the sizes that I wanted. First at that time I was like, you know what? I didn't budget for this item. I don't need to get it. So I waited another month and it had gotten sold out in my size but then i saw that it came back when i got an email from bloomingdale's so i thought oh yes let me go ahead and order it so this top was on sale for 96 dollars, which is not inexpensive for a shirt and as you can see it's a really pretty vibrant colorful print so when i first got this item in the mail which would have been two days ago this is not what i was expecting so that was my initial thoughts about it and first off, it was about the material. So I, I let that go, but I'll let you know what my first, the reason why I was dis a little disappointed with the expectations of the material. So the material is a mixture of linen and viscose, which to make sense, Farm Rio is a brand where they do these tropical, basically like tropical outfits and things like that. So obviously certain fabrics work better because you're, in a warmer climate, you're gonna sweat, all of those things, so that makes sense. So I, I kind of talked myself through that and I thought, it makes sense that it's linen, maybe you expected it to be kind of a more luxurious piece of material, but for kind of the purpose of it, where it's made, how it's made, and also the intent of like what you're using it for, which is a summer piece, like you not, don't necessarily wanna walk around in a, in a silk top in Miami. You're going to sweat a lot. You're going to have a lot of stains and spots from the sweating. So maybe a linen piece is better. <laughs> so I, you know, that was my thought process. So I let that go. I like the print. So the print is great and it's very colorful, vibrant. It looks really good. So second issue I have, which now we're getting into my questions about what are other people's opinions? Maybe this is just a one-off thing is the quality of the item, especially for the price point. Like I said, this item was $170. On sale, I got it for $96, which is a pretty good discount, but still for $96, I don't think this item is worth it. This seems to me as more $50 quality. And the reason why is because you should be seeing some close-ups now. So the, the pattern is very busy, but you see those white spots? Why do I have white spots? I am taking that as it not 
the dye not penetrating the thread thoroughly. So that threw me off. Also, there are several spots on this top where there are loose threads. A shirt that costs almost $200, why, why do I see loose threads in several places? Not one place, not two places. There's probably four or five places I've seen loose threads, which makes absolutely no sense to me for a top that is not inexpensive by any stretch of the imagination. Like even on this tag here, you see how that thread is coming out, which I was willing to give that one up because it's like a bunch of loose threads in the back. So like, mm, that's just one I can live, I can live with that one maybe coming a loose. But that in combination of the other places, there are several buttons here that have loose threads, like here, if you can see that, where I'm just thinking, is this, maybe this one didn't come out right, but maybe other Farm Rio pieces have. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I just really wanna hear from the people who have seen Farm Rio in person, or at least have a piece um, in their collection and can tell me that all of them are like this, or maybe this is just a one-off. Maybe, you know, maybe I, I need to try a different type of shirt. Maybe don't try a linen shirt, try something else. But this shirt is going back because I'm, I'm not impressed by the quality of this top, especially for the price point. So let me know your thoughts down below. Have you all had this problem with something else that you have purchased? and had the same situation where you got it and you were not very excited about it or somewhat disappointed because of what you're expecting and what you got. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.